friends welcome to our channel 10 minutes code and today we are going to start a course on machine learning so we will start from basics to advanced and we will make some projects in this playlist so let's start this video so in this today's video we are going to learn pandas uh, which is the library of python and we have which from which we can organize the data data table and many data files such as csv files excel files and uh, json files like this so first we are going to see a uh, pandas what is pandas so it's a fast powerful flexible and easy to use open source data analysis and manipulation data means we can manipulate data with the help of pandas and we can also do a data analysis with the help of this panda tool we will open this uh, documentation at the side and we will uh, open the VS code we will create a folder we will create a new folder suppose here as pandas we will just open this folder in the VS code So VS code is open. Now we will make a Python file. We not it is made with the help of extension py, but here we are going to use i p y and b. So this is a <coughs> inbuilt Jupyter notebook. You you would have heard about the Jupyter notebook. Uh, which is very famous for uh, writing a python scripts and it is also have an inbuilt markdown and the many multiple codes so we can run this all so this is a jupyter extension for the vs code you can download the extension from the extension bar and you can just use this file okay so to use these pandas you should have python installed in a pc and uh, we have to pip install pandas so after installation uh, my pc already have installed so you have to install like this we are writing pip install pandas so here we will import pandas as pd you can write any variable here but normally we use pd so as a pandas now let's come to documentation uh, first of all uh, before uh, coming to documentation let's download one uh, data file or we can say we are going to use today as a csv file so we are going to download the csv file uh, you, you have uh, if you are uh, learning data science you should know about this website which is kegel.com here we can download many data sets uh, for our projects and training data sets and this all and so here we are going to take one data for example i am going to take a video game sales and here we will open this and we, have, we can download this data, data set so after download uh, we are going to extract this file here we can see this is a csv file we have just to drag and drop in the vs code so that we can use this in a project So this is a data. So there is an extension called uh, CSV. Um, see, I, I will show you. Uh, just wait. CSV to table so that we can see the data more efficiently on a CSV file. Just we have to be there. Will be, after downloading this extension, we, uh, we will have a uh, option here at the right top, Edit CSV. So after uh, clicking on this, we can see the CSV file, CSV data in the tabular format. So it is very easy to analyze the data here. Now after the importing the panda, let's see how can we read the CSV file here. So let's see a documentation. Yeah. First of all, to read the CSV file, we can make a variable. For example, I am making a df means date of name, and uh, here we have to write pd dot read CSV. Uh, in case if you want to read a uh, Excel file or JSON file in the place of CSV, you are going to use that Excel or JSON. Okay, so in the small bracket we are going to name the csv file which is vgsales.csv and after this we have to just write a df and it will just print the table at the down at the output so here we can see the first five column and the last five column of our csv data 
which is shown with the help of Panda. Okay, so let's check out the documentation and we will see what are the more we will see the syntax and what more things we can do in the pandas. So after pip installing pandas, we have done this process. Now what kind of data the panda can do handles? So there, are, let's see which data can panda handle. Uh, when working with tablet data, okay, pa tablet data can be handled by pandas, spreadsheet or databases. Right, tool for you. Panda will help you to explore, clean, and process. Okay, these three work which pandas do is explore the data, clean the data, and process the data. When you mach when you do a machine learning, your data should be clean for proper analyzing and uh, for proper training and testing. So in pandas, a data table is called data frame. So we have just taken a variable as df, which is the data frame. Okay. Now, how do I read and write tablet data? So pandas suppose the integration many file format out of the box. So these are the formats which pandas can integrate: CSV, Excel, SQL, JSON, Parquet, and many more. So importing the data from each of these data sources provide a function with the prefix read. Uh, if you want to read data, we can read, and similarly, we if we want to store data, we can use two method. Okay, so here we are going to use read method for reading the data. Now, how do I select a subset of a table? Selecting or filtering specific rows and columns. Filtering data on condition you can select things and extracting the data in data available. So, for example, uh, if I want to drop the so drop the column, I want to drop any column. So what I will do is we have to use a draw function and here we are going to use a column df is equal to df dot draw column. Okay, so let's see what is the syntax of it. This is to get location. This is to get item. If you want to find the location, we can use loc. We are going to see. Let's see the syntax for uh, pandas drop function. Pandas drop. We can use w3 school, which is very efficient. Uh, so here we have to just. Create a variable and we have to do df dot drop and in this small bracket we are going to write a column or we have row which we have to drop. <coughs> so here we are going to use drop and here we are going to use columns and here in the columns we are going to make an array and in the array we have to write the column name. For example, I want to drop a let's see here I want to drop a platform. So I will just write your platform. So the platform column will be dropped and if we print the df now one second if you print the df now, now we can see the column is disabled because we have dropped it so when you when you are training on data there can be multiple data columns and for example i want to just train the data on general or name if the user selects a general you should give or uh, just suggest a name of a game okay so we don't need this data publisher here and that's also we can just drop this you can drop like this platform or we can say we can drop here yeah or we can do this like also we can uh, separate this separate this by here and we can just remove this and run so this will work the same and in the list code it will yeah. So this is the WC school where you can run Python. This is a syntax and this is some important data. So this is the location. So let's see what is LOC. So df is equal to df dot LOC. So what this will do is we have to just provide a location. For example, I'm providing location of zero. So what happens at zero? It gives the data of zero index. Let me show you the proper data first. Here we can see this is the zero index, and here we this all data will be come will be provided after we write it as zero index. So here the first row data is shown. So this will not work here. 
and now if you want this third uh, index data then we can use three this will be shown as a third index data this is our loc which is an important function in the python pandas that's loc yeah this will load the data which we have done like df yeah yeah what is this let's see print df location here it is using a two dimensional array i think so there is an array inside an array and uh, we can list only that index let's 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 do this so we are going to use this and 0 comma 1 let's see what it will print so it will print two index yeah from 0 to 1 if we use phi then it will print okay so it is it is only printing 1 and 6 index so 1 0 and 5th index will be printed and 0 1 6 and 8 i mean 0 5 and 7 index will be printed this is our location function work for multiple locations first we have to use two dimension array or we can see array inside an array Uh, we, we have uh, tried this read csv which is the first important option so this reads the csv file okay this has been finished okay as i told you it can also read json just like using read and session so you can use you can just use on your tablet and this is analyzed data so how data is analyzed in python so if i use df.tell for example i am using df dot tail so it will print the wait a second yeah we have to use a function it will just print the i have to just disable this it will print the last five data of the uh, csv file and uh, and uh, in, instead of tail if you use it it will print the first five data of csv file and if we use the info method so what it will do is we will get uh, a info on our info of our csv file here we can see a info non null count data type how which data type is used on particular uh, uh, object for example other cells is using float data type this is using object data type gender and publisher and name and rank is using in data type so this is showing the data type okay and uh, if we use the describe method let's see what is described so what is doing uh, it is uh, just uh, this describe method is only works on numerate data your numerate data are rank nsl u cells jp cells etc so first is count it will count the number of ranks how many ranks are there for the particular column how what is the mean of the particular column means mean average what is the standard deviation what is the minimum uh, rank minimum minimum rank is 1 and nsl 0 0 this is the minimum and this is mean this is 25%, 50%, 75% and this is max, which is the max value of the particular column. This is what a describe functions do. That's that much simple. In the next video, we are going to see how to clean the data in pandas. In this method, we are just, we are just going to devise what we have learned today. So what we can we can, we can see that first we have we have pip install pandas and spd and we are going to this pd variable as a as a replacement of the panda. So after installing the panda, we learn how to read a file. Here we have read a CSV file. If we can use JSON file also, we can use Excel file also. So what it will, what it will do is it will print the DF, which is the CSV file, and uh, we, it will only print the first five columns and the last five columns. DF dot drop. What DF dot drop? It will it will drop the platform column and the year column. So suppose if I remove this year column and I have to print this year, it also come here. So next is DF dot location which will print uh, location of that uh, very uh, index we have provided in the multi-dimension array which is 0, 5 and 7 and we can use df dot head which will print uh, the first five elements of an uh, of a csv file and if we use df dot tell it will print the last five element of csv file and df dot describe show some methods uh, so like count mean mean average of the all the whole data set in the column so this is that's all for today and in the next lecture we are going to see how to clean the data in the pandas so
थैंक यू एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड थैंक यू